later. <laughs> What's up, Donnie? Hi, Mom. We're out of milk. I get my card filled tomorrow. I'll pick it up then. Where are you? Are you having fun? Yes, ma'am. Miss Newbar left her cat out again. Yeah? I just don't think some people take it seriously, you know? Owning a pet. <laughs> on, honey, nothing people do surprises me. <laughs> Sweetie, seriously? Why do we do good? Because Jesus said so? Because Buddha or Muhammad told us to? These are pretty important people in history. We should listen to them, right? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Shh. They weren't the first people to say it. Nor will they be the last. Why do we do good? Because it's the right thing to do. It's in our DNA. It's not spiritual. It's necessary. She never had a life. Of the three of us girls, Lori, mom was the hardest on her. She had it the hardest. I just don't understand why God would allow her to be shot to death in a parking lot by some whore. Jamie. I don't care. <clears throat> well, we, uh, we have to figure out what to do with Dawn. She's gonna need some place to live. At least till she finishes her senior year. We hardly know her. <laughs> How could we know her? I mean, Renee would never let us see her. Couldn't she stay with her sister or her father? I think we all know the answer to that. Yeah. Well, Lori and I, we've already raised our kids. We flat out cannot afford to take her in, especially with the tuition we're paying. We just figured the pastors in the family would want her. I want to take her. Could we talk about this in private? She's family. Can we talk about this in private? Her mother was just murdered. How can we possibly think about ourselves? Let us not forget Renee. Loving mother, sister and friend. Loved by many, and she loved all in return. What Let us close in prayer. joke. What is he talking about? You think this is Mother Teresa's funeral? Lifting up our dear Renee before the Lord. Why'd they have to cream me here? her with our thoughts. I wanted to see her again. Dear Lord. Mother would hate this. Please protect There's not a drink in sight. And bestow peace and mercy upon the Why can't I live with you? I don't even know Aunt Jamie. Donnie, I... Family and their time as it mourns. Well, Jack said no. Jack likes me. Amen. You're gonna love it at Jamie and Willems. They've got that house and money. And God. You know I want to. I'm just not in a position. Don't worry about it. Girls, uh, we loved your mom. I'm so sorry. I'll see you out there, okay?
this is your room. I, I hope you like it. Um, I was thinking in a couple days we could go shopping for maybe some more pillows or new bedspread or something, whatever you want. This is fine. Yeah? Maybe some new paint. <laughs> oh, I'll do that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get we'll a go shopping. What? I just want you guys to know that as soon as I graduate, I'm gonna get a job so I can move out and I won't be a burden for long. Dawn, I want, we want you here. You're not a burden. I want my mom. <sighs> I hate my sister. Lori? No, Renee. When you grew up the way that we grew up, why would you choose to repeat all that same crap? Hurting people hurt people. At some point in your life, you've got to get over yourself, especially when you have children. She wasn't capable. I was. Why did she get to have children and I didn't? Jamie, we've all had a rough, long day. I'm sorry. It just wasn't meant to be for us. I know. I'm just emotional. We've got to show Don what it's like to have a good home. Will you help me do that? Okay, got it. Ah. it, it the last thing I need is to go down the cookie aisle, so. No, I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> Thank you. What's next on the list? Uh, tomato paste and then Parmigiano Reggiano. If it really says that, I am gonna puke right now. No, it does. See, it's his famous lasagna. Everything has to be authentic. Oh, did you get my email? Which one? The one about the clothing exchange for the women yeah. at the church? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I'm so busy with Dawn, and I just, I don't know. What's not to love about it? We bring our unwanted clothes, we go through them, we take what we want, and the rest goes to charity. It's a win-win. No, I do like the recycling uh -huh. part. I just, um, okay, just, I don't, uh, no furs. Oh, who owns a fur anymore? Seriously. I'll put it all together for you. You don't have to do a thing. What would I do without you? Go insane. I would. I know. Parmesan over here. Take this. And go ahead and put a little in. Shouldn't I measure it? With lasagna sauce, you don't measure. You just feel. Go ahead. Now, we let it simmer for a few hours and then taste it. You sure know a lot about cooking. <laughs> no, I don't. But I make a great lasagna. You ready for the big day tomorrow? I'm nervous. I know. It sucks starting a new school, even under the best circumstances. We got your Parmigiano Reginado. Are you a lasagna aficionado? Uh, are you an expert at making lasagna? Si, sí, brava, brava. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Mm -hmm. oh, sure, sure. Connor, come on in. Oh, the secret to a great lasagna? What? Lots of fat. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he means it. Speech, speech. Oh, all right. <clears throat> to our first family function together. Yes, there's a blessing in everything if you look. And after everything that we've all been through lately, I think we've become a closer family. Cheers. 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 Let's do good thing, bad thing. What's that? It's something I used to do all the time with my family as a kid. Um, you say one good thing that happened to you today and one bad thing. So I'll go first. Um, good thing. I hear that Connor is walking Dawn to school tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good man. 
Um, okay, and my bad thing, I am going to eat way too much of this lasagna tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, exactly. My good thing is that our youth group at church raised enough money for our summer trip to the beach. Yes, which Dawn, you're invited to. Of course, yeah. I'll introduce you to all the kids this Sunday. Thanks. And my bad thing, oh, I have a math test tomorrow that I'm totally not prepared for. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. 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 You can go next. Good thing is I start a new school tomorrow. Bad thing is I start a new school tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> you'll be fine. I promise. Yeah. My good thing is I worked out four out of five days this week. Uh. Victory indeed. Boom. Mm -hmm. And my bad thing is I cannot find my reading glasses. No. Okay, Mark, your turn. And your bad thing better not have anything to do with me. <laughs> well, now I don't have anything to say. That's not fair. Um, <laughs> let's see, good thing is I slept in this morning. Woo. Nice. <laughs> bad thing is... No, I don't have anything to say because Lori said I can't say anything about her. Oh. It's unbelievable. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just threaten him? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> um, my good thing is that I only have good things to say because each and every one of you is here with me tonight. So thank you. Uh, let's eat, huh? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, let's eat right. again. For okay. sure. Do you want to? Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for tonight. What can I say? It's my lasagna. Why did you give a toast instead of saying a prayer? Have I committed some terrible pastor faux pas? No, I just, I thought it was an interesting choice. I mean, we are pastors. Okay, never mind. I'll see you in bed. Would you make me a list of the things you wanted me to get from the store? Oh, that must be Connor. Have you had anything to eat? Yeah, I just ate. Right on time, young man. Very impressive. I try. Hey, Don, I want to get a picture of you for your first day of school. Okay. Oh, I know. Here we go. Aw. Okay, Connor, you get in there, too. Oh, okay. Both of you guys. One, two, jeez. Oh, all right, off you go. You don't want to be late. Have a good day. Oh, don't forget your lunch time. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Good job. What? What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh, what? You can ask me. Ask you what? About my mom. It's okay. I know she died. She was shot to death in a bar parking lot. I'm sorry. It's the first time I've ever said that out loud. I'd appreciate it if you didn't spread that around school too much. I got your back. Hey, did I tell you it's National Don't Be Sad Day? No, but I saw it on my calendar this morning. Good. We're on the same page. So first off, I guess I'll take you to your homeroom and introduce you to your teacher, Ms. Kurtz, otherwise known as a Bucktooth Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, all the other teachers prefer to say she's alignment challenged. Yeah. They do not. You're right. They call her Bucktooth Wonder, too. Hey. Hey. How was school? It was good. Kind of scary. Sit. Look what I found. Pictures of me and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you guys. I know. Look at this one. We were just like rebels without a cause. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that day. I could not find your mom. And I looked out in the backyard. And she was just laying there on the green grass and just watch the clouds go by for like an hour. Ugh, I always wondered what she was dreaming about.
Okay, you need to slow down. <laughs> All right. No church talk today. No shop talk. I'm taking the day off. There's just always something that needs attending to. I know, I know. Let it go. Okay. Did you happen to notice anybody in particular that I invited over here today? I think he's rather attractive. We've met. And don't you want to go over there and talk to him? Sydney, come on, it's time. No, don't push me, Jamie. Don't be so picky. I, 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 I'm fine, where I am, really. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. I hope you had fun. Oh, I had a great time, really great. Um, hey, my buddy Charlie, he's throwing a, well, we're going bowling next Friday, and would you like to go with me? Yeah. I'd, uh, I'd love to go. Okay, sweet. Um, I'll pick you up at seven? Seven it is. <laughs> seven it is. Um, I guess I'll say goodbye now. Bye. You know what? Put that on the top shelf, babe. Oh. Because I think we're going to reuse that um, okay. for the church picnic. After much deliberating to find the best family plan, you are the proud new owner of a cell phone. Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you, Willem. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Calm down, Dawn. Get out of my room! You're taking it the wrong way. We're no! okay. Right? Calm down. Get out! We're good. Dawn, honey, open up, please. Let's talk about this. Why don't you ask your husband? I, I did. He said it was all a misunderstanding. It was a misunderstanding. I understood I was moving into this great house, and then my uncle comes on to me. Willem wouldn't do that. Dawn. <sighs> Dawn, wait up. Dawn, will you talk to me? Please don't go. Dawn, please. Oh. We're a family. You're gonna make yourself sick when you come to bed? Yeah, in a minute. You got your life, your health. And I'm right here. I know the road ahead is long. If we're Wait, well, what if we move Women's Journey Night to the 16th? And you are not listening to a word I'm saying. You have to let this Dawn thing go. You didn't make her leave. I know. Being raised the way she was, she doesn't know what else to do but run. But why would she say what she said? I mean, what could it possibly get her? You don't believe her, do you? 
Willem isn't even attracted to young girls. I found porn on his computer. Really? Well, I wouldn't put too much on that. He's the pastor of a church. And he's also a man. That doesn't make it okay. It, it makes me wonder if maybe he did it. And maybe she came on to him. And he shut her down, and this is her way of getting back at him. You don't know what she's capable of. I don't know who to believe. Willem doesn't need this. He is the pastor of a church with hundreds of people depending on him. And this pubescent girl from a bad home comes along threatening to destroy everything he's built. And you don't know who to believe? I built that church just as much as Willem. And where are your priorities? How do you know he's not attracted to young girls? I mean, then who is he attracted to? Someone more like you? Willem tried to tell you not to take Dawn in, and you, as usual, didn't listen to him. You're my best friend. You never listen to him and support him the way a man in his position needs. How long? We were going to tell you, and then Renee got killed. It was going to be clean. And then you insisted on taking Dawn in, and it messed everything up. How long? We're in love. What does it matter how long? I, I'm so sorry, Jamie. I have to find her. I have to find Dawn. <laughs> hey, don't oh, get in here. Hey, hey, come on, get in here. What can I do for you? Hi, Dad. Dawn. Holy crap, look at you. You're all growing up. Come on in. Come on in. Shayna, get in here. Shayna, this is my daughter Dawn. Dawn, this is Shayna. Nice to meet you. You too. Thanks. You want a beer? Get her a beer, Shayna. I... Okay, I'll have a beer. Wow. The house looks the same, so the furniture's different. Well, yeah, Shayna here, she's always painting something. <laughs> Ain't the red bit. <laughs> We're pretty shabby before she moved in. Can I see? Yeah, come on in. Make yourself at home. We sure were sorry to hear about your mom. Oh, yeah. That was terrible. Your mom was a good woman. I'm sorry I didn't come to the funeral. I wish you would have. I know. Then I was going to send flowers, but I thought probably best not to. I'm not too popular with your family, you know. So I hear you're living with your Aunt Jamie. Your Aunt Lori told me. Do you guys have anything I could eat? <laughs> yeah. Well, of course we do. Oh, we have pizza, is that okay? Yeah, thanks. <sighs> things aren't great, Dad. I uh, know, it's a shock losing your mom like that. That's just gonna take time. It's not just that. Is there any way that... Oh. Don't be shy, there's more. Oh, honey, you must be starving. I'm not living with Aunt Jamie anymore. It didn't work out. What do you mean it didn't work out? She wanted you to move in there. It wasn't Aunt Jamie. Well, where are you staying then? Honey, did you tell Dawn about our news? Well, of course I haven't. I haven't had a chance. Your dad and I are gonna have a baby. I'm three months pregnant. That is news. I've already painted the room, do you wanna see it? No, thank you. So you're staying with your sister then, right? No, Jack said no. Oh. We just have the one other room and it's gonna be for the baby, so. I'm sorry. It's okay, I'll, I'll be fine. How about I wrap you up some more pizza? And why don't you grab some other stuff while you're in there too, huh? Hello. 
Watch this. This is funny. You know, watch what he does here. <laughs> hey, where are you going? You just got here. I should go. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait. You take this. Can you believe I'm gonna have another kid? I mean, you know, hopefully I'll be a better father this time around. Hopefully. All right, well, uh, give me a hug. Mm. All right. Let it be. I'm gonna get another beer. I told Sydney how upset I was with her. This is not how this should have happened. All those years that we counseled couples, you never once said anything. That was wrong of me. My best friend, you couldn't have picked any other woman. You are a liar. And you are not a godly man. Jamie, I haven't believed in God for years. I think the congregation would be very interested in hearing that. I know where you're going. I'd watch myself if I were you, Jamie. You're overwrought. Your sister was just murdered. Now your niece runs off. That's enough to push anyone over the edge. Everyone at church is very concerned about you. out any personal information about our guests. No, uh, keep it. Um, I really need to find her. You can leave a message for her on the message board if you like. Do you guys need any help or anything, like serving dinner or anything? That way, I don't know, I'd be here in case she came in. Well, you'd need to fill out a volunteer application online first. Okay. Um, how long would that take? How long does the processing take? Well, you just fill out the application online and somebody will be in touch with you. Okay. Thank you. Hey. What's your name? I'll look into it myself. Jamie Linder. David. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. It's Dawn. I got it.
You heard from Don? No. Is that a drink? Yeah. Isn't it a little bit early to be having a drink? It's your house. Yes, it is. Do you want to fix dinner with me? Mark's going to be home soon. I can't. I have to fill out an application. Oh, are you looking for your job? No. Um, I went by the mission today uh, to see if Dawn had stopped in or not, and they, they couldn't say anything about it because of privacy issues. So I am going to volunteer there. That way I'll be there if she stops in. You need to apply to volunteer. <laughs> oh, Woody finally called me back today. What? Mm -hmm. what, what? Why didn't you say anything? What did, what did he say? Okay, calm down. He saw her. It's Dawn there? No. And she did not tell him where she was going when she left. What? Well, you know, she probably didn't get that warm of a reception. Not if Woody got a whiff of any kind of responsibility coming his way. Why didn't you post these flyers? Because Dawn's not missing. She chose to leave. I see. Huh. I'm really glad that Mom's not around to see all this. Are you gonna be responsible for Mom now too? Someone has got to be the responsible one. Life isn't about just doing whatever you want. You're not the only one who's in pain, Jame. Renee was my sister, too. Try losing your husband on top of it. Okay, can we just stop this, please? I'm not going to be told that I'm wrong for caring about my niece. I'll put these up. You know what I hate about living in the city? <laughs> Can't see any of the stars at night. I mean, they're... They're up there just twinkling away. And no one ever notices them, you know? I guess I feel sorry for them. Don. Never heard that name before. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's short for Sebastian. My mother's French. You're French. Oui. And I find you très amusant. Huh? <laughs> so how long ago did you run away from home? How did you know that? Because. Uh, I used to be you. And I know that you don't deserve whatever happened to you. Family sucks. You have no idea. <laughs> Here. Take this. No, thank you. No, take it. It's just, uh, just a friend who understands trying to help. Go ahead, get yourself something to eat. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. So what's your plan, Don? What's next? I'm gonna get a job, maybe go back to school. Hmm. Well, it's a plan, and a good one. Let's we'll see. You're gonna need to get an apartment. 
Well, that's going to cost a lot of money, Don. How the heck are you going to do that? I'll figure it out. I'm not scared. Don. Don, if you're not scared, you're a damn fool. You don't know these streets. You need someone looking out for you. Do you have a place to stay tonight? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. I tell you what, Don. I'm gonna keep an eye on you, okay? Sorry, I'm early. Yeah, well, if you think I'm gonna be impressed and increase your salary, forget it. That was a joke. Oh. Okay, you ready? I thought I'd have you hang out with me today. Where? Street missions. Okay. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Okay. Keep it real. You said you had somewhere to stay last night. I did. No, no you didn't. Thanks for your concern, but I'm okay. Do you have enough money left for lunch? Don't answer that. What are you doing today? I'm gonna go look for a job. Do you mind if I hang out with you for a little bit? Sure. Great. So, first things first. We gotta get you cleaned up. Don't look at me like that. I'm not gonna bite you. You can shower at my place. I'll introduce you to Rachel. You'll love her. Text her right now and let her know we're coming over. You're awfully quiet. Oh, I'm... I'm just taking it all in. I mean, I go past her at church. You know? Yeah, well, God wakes us up at different times. It was nice to have you out there with me today. 
you're kind of lonely out there. Why do you do it? I mean, have you always ministered on the streets? Where's Jordan? It's 10 o'clock. I know that, Blair. The party was at 7. Your son is in bed. He really liked his birthday card. Especially the part where you wrote, you couldn't wait to show him how to use the catcher's mitt we got him. But what you should have written is that you're sorry you missed his 10th birthday. But it was more important to get drunk. Poor Blair. Poor put upon Blair. Do you have any idea what Gerald did today? I don't care what your boss said. You're an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. Alcoholics go to meetings. I had a few drinks. It doesn't mean I don't love my son. They made you a horrible father. I'm sick and tired of hearing your excuses. I don't want to hear it. Go drink some more. I don't care. I'm gonna go tell him happy birthday. No, you're not. He was upset enough when he went into bed. He doesn't need to be drunk waking him up. Fine. You can't drive. Happy birthday, Jordan. I'm leaving you, David. I'm not gonna let you do this to us anymore. Don't come back. Come back to what? I walked out the door and didn't look back for a long time. Do you still see your son? No. He won't have anything to do with me. So tell me more about you. Um, so you co-pastor a church with your husband? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we're, we're separated right now. I'm sorry. We have our issues, like most couples, <laughs> so. And Donna's your niece. Yeah, uh, her mother, Renee, is my sister, and um, when she was killed, we took her in. Wow, I'm sorry, how was she killed? She was shot in a bar parking lot by a, a jealous girlfriend. So why did Dawn run away? It's how she was raised. It's all she knows is, is to run. Nothing happened at home? No. Wait. Dawn! Dawn! That's Dawn! Dawn! Oh. Who in the world was that guy? Basti. I thought you weren't coming home till later. So, uh, I guess you didn't get my text. It's fine. Um, go get yourself something to drink. I'll be right back. Come here. We don't need her. I want you to go out there, and you're going to be nice to her. No. Okay. Why do you make me like this? Mom, um, after everything I've done for you, you can't help me. Don't you know how much I love you? Don't you? Trust me. I'm always looking out for you. All right? Help me do this. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna get done. Okay? Mm. Rachel. 
Rachel. This is Don. Don, this is Rachel. Rachel's gonna help you find some clothes, okay? All right, I'm gonna let you two get acquainted. Whatever your story is, I don't feel sorry for you. I'm not interested in how much your parents didn't love you or how many times your mom's boyfriend got too friendly, okay? Okay. A couple of things. Don't steal from me and earn your own keep. Bosty's with me and we're gonna keep it that way. Now let me see if I can find you something to wear. I'm gonna go back out there tomorrow. I gotta keep looking for her. That guy is a pimp. Well, be careful. Take David with you. Yeah. I only watch TV. Hopefully in peace. job search go? Bad. Most of them want a high school diploma. Jerks. You know, I bet if they knew you, they'd hire you in a heartbeat. Right. It's just what I think. Where's Rachel? Uh, she's working. Where does she work? Have you ever used chopsticks before? Do you know how to use them? I tried it once, but I couldn't do it. Oh, come on. It's easy. Look. Put one, you hold it just like that, press it against your thumb, and the other one moves it. This is the only one that moves. That's what nobody gets. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you why you ran away? My mom was killed. Oh, damn. And I went to go stay with my aunt and uncle and my uncle, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like I said, Don, you need someone, someone there to look after you. Okay, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think you're beautiful. And uh, I really like you, and I would like the chance to, um, to take care of you the way you should be. I thought you were with Rachel. No, no. <laughs> what? Is that what she said? Yeah. No, I've never felt about her the way I feel about you. <laughs> Sorry. That probably sounds so stupid. No. You can't help how you feel. You know, you're a real smart girl. Do you mind if I kiss you? <laughs> Let me take care of you, Don. I know what it's like to be let down by family. We're one and the same, you and I. Oh, I got you something today. Don't get too excited. It's not that expensive. It's just... It reminded me of you. There. I was thinking that maybe when you wear it, you'll think of me. Dinner smells great. I'm starving. 500, not too bad. Some guy gave me a huge tip. Do you want a sandwich? How you doing, David? I haven't seen you in a few days, buddy. My good shoes got stolen. Yeah, it's rough out here. 
Come in and see me at the mission. We'll work something out. Yeah, uh... Got a few bucks you could give me? No, I can't do that. Come in and see me. Yeah, well, oh well. to get a job every once in a while in a room somewhere, but I'd always end up getting fired and be back on the street again. Wow. Wait. Okay, Dawn is right over there. What? Yes, she's right. Shh, come on. Please let me go talk to her alone. Right. If you go over there, she might run again. Please. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Go, 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 go. Where's the furthest you've ever been? I almost went to Disneyland once, but my mom canceled the trip. She didn't have enough money saved up. Then that totally doesn't count. <laughs> I haven't really been anywhere, I guess. I'm gonna go to New York. Boston too, of course. When? Someday. I wanna go around Christmas time, shop at Saks Fifth Avenue, see the Rockettes at Radio City Music Hall. I am not going to spend the rest of my life in this lousy town. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Just make some money and get out of here. You should head back. I'm gonna be a few minutes. Don't worry, I'm fine. Uh, excuse me, Don, isn't it? Yeah. My name is David, I work at the rescue mission downtown. Your Aunt Jamie's really worried about you. Tell her not to be. Actually, Don was just leaving. I didn't get your name. No, you didn't. If you or Don ever want to talk, just give me a call. Hey, can you grab me a beer? Yeah. Okay. I needed this, thank you. What's wrong? Somebody stole my wallet today. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh 
my god, I'm so sorry. Hey. We stick together, no matter what, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't good, Don. If we can't pay the rent, we're on the street. You know if I had the money, I'd give it to you. I know you would, baby. But maybe you can help. I mean, it's not... It's a lot to ask, but I, I just, I don't know what else to do. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Our families abandon us and abuse us. This is how we fight back. We're survivors. Just look at how beautiful you are. I have so much respect and love for you. You're gonna make me so proud. The first client's always the hardest. I can fix them for both of us. Later. Yeah, come sit. Come sit. You want to open it? Why the sudden interest in my mail? Honey, your husband files for a divorce. You don't want to look at it? I, I'll look at it later. I've, I've got a lot on my plate and... You mean Dawn? For starters? Why are you so negative about her? I am the one who has been here from the very beginning of this whole mess. Is that how you see me, as a mess? You know what I mean. For all intents and purposes, I became Dawn's mother. And that responsibility doesn't just go away because my life is a mess. Honey, you can't save Dawn. Only Dawn can save Dawn. I'm a trained counselor, so I know that sometimes people just need a little bit of nudging before they get help. I'm sorry your husband cheated on you. I'm sorry that you didn't get the dream that you worked so hard for. Little sister, you can't deal with your present until you deal with your past. Thanks for seeing me. You're welcome. You look great. I know you're sorry, David. I got all your letters when you were in rehab. How's Jordan? He's good. You're still working at the mission? Yeah. 
associate pastor doesn't pay much. Do you have a picture of Jordan you could give me? Uh, is the number you texted me from your right number? I could send you a senior picture. Yeah. When's the graduation? He already graduated, David. Oh. I'm sorry to have missed that. Well, you didn't really expect an invitation, did you? I guess not. After you left, I used to tell Jordan that his father graduated college top of his class. And that he came along and swept me off my feet and married me. And on the night he was born, his father stayed awake all night, just staring at him, at this miracle. I told him those things so that he could feel like he came from something, so that he could ignore the fact that we were on food stamps and that his mother had to borrow money from her parents more times than she could remember, and that his father was lying drunk somewhere in the streets. Jordan doesn't want you in his life, David. I'm not sure that he ever will. I'm believing he will. Well, the odds aren't good. Will you tell Jordan that I'm going to be at this exact coffee shop, at this exact table, next Tuesday at 5 p.m. sharp? And if he doesn't come, then I will be here next Tuesday at 5 p.m. sharp, and the Tuesday after that, and the Tuesday after that, until he decides to see me. I'll tell him. I don't think you realize how much damage has been done. What is a mistake? It's our teacher. It's our friend. Trust in your innate ability for goodness. Ask the universe what your lesson is and move on. There are no mistakes. There are only opportunities for growth, Jamie. Good morning. <laughs> um, it's amazing how fast we all feel like strangers, actually. <laughs> I'm sure that you've heard by now that Pastor Willem and I are getting a divorce. And that's probably come as quite a surprise to you as it did to me. My marriage and a precious friendship that I thought were authentic were not. But change is seldom welcomed. It imposes itself on us and forces us to wake up. I set myself as the example of what a Christian woman and Christian wife would look like. But I'm not the example. Forgive me. I don't know what's next. <laughs> But I know that I am going to continue to wake up. And I am going to be wishing that for all of you, too. Thank you. Give me just one minute, please. I held you from the start Oh, with loose hands Close it, babe I watched you gain your ground With each new Didn't see this coming be 
Because change isn't seen until it's made No, I, I don't want to be the enough It's a role that suits the brain I thought I'd check in with you. I didn't see Don today. Why are you helping me? What? Don't you have better things to do with your time? What's the matter, Jamie? I lied to you. You did? Mm-hmm. Willem and I aren't just having marital issues. He's having an affair with my best friend. And... Don left because Willem made a pass at her. I appreciate your honesty. You sound like a counselor. I am. Me too. If confession is good for the soul, then why do I feel so lousy? My life is falling apart and I have no idea what to do. It's okay to be vulnerable. That's when God does his best work. Please don't get all religious on me. I don't know what I believe right now. I am helping you because I want to. No, I need to. Somehow I hope it helps me get my son back. I'm sorry about your husband. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. I'll pray for you. Thanks. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard it. Really? Yeah. Oh man, it's so weird. It's so good though. Yeah, I guess you're gonna see it a lot. Why isn't there cheese in Chinese food? Because I don't want it to taste good. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. You want a burger? You should get a burger. They're good here. They have real cheese and everything. None of that processed crap. You don't want to be putting those chemicals into your body. Yeah, and the patties, they just come from one cow. You know, some patties come from over a hundred different cows. <laughs> what? Okay, you remember how I told you to talk less and listen more? Yeah. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> what is that crap, a hundred cows? No. <laughs> hey, Miss Sunshine, why the long face? Nothing. Do you mind ordering me more fries? <laughs> he took all of mine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back to school. What kind of school would that be? I don't care. I just wanna finish my senior year. Well, I guess that means we should go get you some school supplies. <laughs> I'm sorry, does this look like I'm running a daycare? <laughs> no. Why would anyone want to go back to school? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey, baby. Be a doll and make me another drink? <laughs> oh, I'm, grab a rag or something because clumsy me, I spelled something. <laughs> And how about Chinese for dinner? I won $20 on a scratch it and I'm feeling rich. Did 
Is there any way I could get some money for PE clothes? Honey, you know I can't find a job. How was school? It was school. Still getting good grades? You're not skipping or nothing? I have all A's, except for PE. You have such beautiful hair. My mama used to say that your hair was spun of gold. It's about the nicest thing she ever said. I miss grandma. I'm proud of you, Donnie. You know, my mom never said that to me. She said, the only thing I would ever become was a drunk like my father. That's what she said to me. Promise me you'll finish school. I expect more of you. I only have a few credits left. It would only take a couple months. Okay, listen. You're not going back to school, so just get that out of your mind. This is school. Life. And it costs money. I was never really popular in school. Shut up. Is Don your real name? Yeah, it is. Really? That's surprising. Why? I thought girls like you are usually incognito. Don't want your mom to find out. Later. Catch up with you guys in a sec. Hi. See ya. See ya, man. Dawn? Hi. Where have you been? What are you doing at my old high school? A buddy of mine from church goes here. We were just going to shoot some hoops. Where did you go? I've been asking at church about you, but nobody knows. And I went to your aunt and uncle's house, but your uncle said you went to live with your father. Did you? What did Jamie say? She wasn't there. You don't know. Know what? Your aunt Jamie left Pastor Willem. It's big news at the church. I didn't know that. Why didn't you tell me you were gonna leave? I was in a hurry. Do you go to school here now? Connor, have you ever put your mom to bed because she was too drunk to do it herself? No. Have you ever gone to bed hungry because your dad quit paying child support? Or have you ever told your friends that you need to get home because your mom's worried about you? But the truth is, she doesn't care when you come home. You just tell them that so they'll think that you have a parent who cares. No. I didn't think so. Do you think that's going to make me think less of you? I care about you, Don. I thought we cared about each other. You're a really sweet boy who has no idea what life is like for a person like me. So go home and tell your parents over and over and over again how grateful you are that you don't have to have a childhood like mine. Just because you have a bad start doesn't mean you have to have a bad ending. You matter, Don. If to no one else, you matter to me. Stop.
killing them. I, ah. I didn't take ah. them. I, ah. Ah. I didn't take them. Ah. I didn't. Please, you're hurting me. Where'd they go? They just disappeared. No. Ah. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Why don't you sit down? Hey. What? Why don't I get you a beer? Yeah, give me a beer. Okay. Never better. Why is Basti so mad? He thinks I took his oxy, but I didn't. When he took him a while ago, he's just so high he can't remember. I'm so sorry, Rachel. Me too. I should have told you what Busty was going to do to you. You knew? Don, you're not the first girl to be here, okay? Busty didn't lose his wallet. He knew you were sucked in. He knew that you'd do anything for him. He doesn't love you. Or me. He didn't lose his wallet? He has thousands of dollars hidden away in this apartment. Do you know where? Yeah. Where? None of your business. Let's steal it and run away. No. Do you have any idea what Bosti would do to us? He won't catch us. Let's go to New York. Let's steal the money and let's go to New York. It's what you've always wanted. Let's go. I'm too scared. First thing in the morning, while Bosti's sleeping it off, I'll get the money, and you and I will get out of here. We'll get the money, and we'll go. Okay? Okay. So where is it? It's in the hall closet. It's in a shoebox on the top shelf. You go outside. I'll be there in one minute. Okay. You looking for something? Come on, you don't think I'd be stupid enough to leave thousands of dollars in a box, do you? Oh, oh, no, 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 Ah, you little Hello? If you want to help Don, you better get here really quick. I'm just gonna get hurt bad. Where is she? Can I speak to Don, please? Uh, no. There's no one here by that name. Sorry. I'm here! Go to your room! And we're fine. Just a misunderstanding. Um, trying to teach her about healthy boundaries. Don, would you like to go with me? Yes. Where are you gonna take her? Uncle Pervert? Let's go, Don. She's not going anywhere. She owes me. We seem to be at an impasse, don't we? You know what? It's not a problem. I'm just gonna call the police. I'm gonna get them over here. They're gonna settle this for us. You wouldn't have a problem with that, would you, Bosti? I don't have any nasty warrants out for your arrest, do you? Did you call him?
Hi. Is she here? Uh, yeah, she's being admitted. Okay. Um, wh wh why didn't you bring her to me? I mean, she should be with family. She didn't want to come to your house. I'm sorry, but we got to meet her where she is. <sighs> All right, well, um, wh who do I need to speak to? Yeah, Hope's ladder isn't easy to get into. I had to pull a lot of strings to get her here. We really appreciate all your help, David. Hi, I'm Lori. I'm Jamie's sister. Nice to meet you. So when can we see her? Well, you can say a quick hello, but her therapy team will decide when she can have family visits once they've talked to her. Oh, great. Well, at least we know she's in a good place. Jamie, this is a huge step forward. <sighs> yeah, I know. You're right. So I don't understand. How long? Six weeks to six months. Six Everybody's months. different. Hey. Be anywhere. Oh, six God. weeks. Oh, honey. Your Aunt Jamie never stopped looking for you. Not for a second. Well, what's going on there? Huh? Dawn needs to get settled in her room now. Okay. I'll let you know when she can have visitors. Well, I'll be back, okay? Just as soon as they stay, okay? Right. I'm gonna come in tomorrow and check on you. Hang in there, honey. Did you get settled in all right? Yeah. Can you tell me why you didn't go to group this morning? You know, one of the requirements for staying here is you attend all group meetings. I wasn't feeling up to it. Can you tell me why you weren't feeling up to it? I was having a bad hair day. I understand that you're angry, Dawn. You've been through a lot. But just talk. You see, the problem is, I don't want to be here, but I don't want to leave. I don't want to be high, but I don't want to be sober. I don't want to wake up, but I don't want to go to sleep. So far, things haven't been working out so great for me. And if this is all life is, then I'd rather just skip out on the whole thing. Have you had thoughts of taking your own life? Not really. Often, if we have suicidal thoughts, we just want the pain to stop. And what we are going to try to do is give you some tools you can use to help face these struggles in a constructive way. I'm gonna need a lot of tools. That's okay, because God never runs out of tools. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent not his Son to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God's love for us never runs out. He is the God of second, third, and fourth chances. If you need a new beginning, you've come to the right place. Give me your wallet. There's no money in it. I said give me your wallet. Could you... Man, could you please just give me the picture of my son?
David? You don't look so good. What happened to you, buddy? I think it would be better if I died. No, that's not the way to go. I walked out of my family. I haven't seen my boy in years. What did I say at the mission? God knows all. He still cares about us. There's no sin so deep that God's not deeper still. None of us deserve his forgiveness, but he gives it to us as a free gift, totally undeserved. You know, God says, taste and see that I'm good. Will you pray with me? Pray after me. Jesus, I know I've done wrong in my life. Jesus, I know. Jesus, I know I've done wrong. I want to change. I want to change. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please take away the burden that I bear. Please take away, please take away the burden that I bear. Come into my life and my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Please come into my life and to my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Okay, well, why won't she see me this time? She didn't say. This is the fourth day in a row that I've been by that she won't see me. I'm sorry, but you can leave her a message if you'd like. Another message? Hey, you found me, come in. What have you been saying to Don? What's the matter? I've been by there the last four days and she won't see me. I knew nothing about it. She didn't say anything to me. Well, somebody's been saying something. You know what? She's working through a lot. Why don't you give her some time? Uh, I'm not the bad guy here. Hey, well, back up. Nobody said you were. Yeah, I am. My husband has an affair and I lose my marriage and my church. He makes a pass at my niece and I'm to blame. You know, I made the right choices. I didn't drink or do drugs, I don't deserve this. I went to college, I married a pastor, I co-pastored a church. Okay, Jamie, now God sometimes works through adversity in our lives to try to bring us into a closer relationship with him. It's <laughs> good. I spent my entire life serving God. And I got nothing. You know, I didn't abandon my family and drink my brains out on the streets. I didn't need to go work at the mission to try to earn my son back. I served God. But do you know him? <laughs> what do you mean, do I know him? My whole life has been about God. But do you know him? I'm not gonna go see Don anymore. Look at this room. I love it. So much light. Yeah, it really does have a lot of light. It's great. I love it. Wow. Okay, so first and last rent. Yes. I'll take it. I thought today we'd talk about the importance of forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell me why you're responding the way you are. You're saying we should just forgive? You know, the way my boyfriend treated me, he should be the one begging for my forgiveness. My stepdad kicked me out of the house when I was 15. Said he'd wish I'd 
never been born. I wish he'd never been born. You know, if, if they don't ask for forgiveness, there's no reason to give it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Okay. You're right. We don't have to forgive. Mm -mm. So if we hold on to all the anger and resentment, who are we really hurting? So I should say to my boyfriend, hey babe, it's fine that you beat me for no reason all those times, because I forgive you. Can I fix you some dinner? Yeah. I mean, get real. No one is saying what they did is okay, and they don't deserve forgiveness, but you deserve to be free. I can't live locked up like this anymore. I want a better life, but that life isn't possible with all this hate that I have inside of me. I'll try. I'll try to forgive if that's what it takes. But I, I can't live with this hate my whole life. Where are you going? Don't worry, I'm just getting some air. God, I'm here. God, I want to trust you again. God, I'm here. God, I'm listening. God, I want to know you. There's a light in the light shining over me. I said there's a light 
in my life shining over me. There's a light in my life shining over me. Let your blessings from above fill me with that precious love. There's a light in my life shining over me. everywhere for you. Um, I thought you could use some company out here. It gets kind of lonely. I love it. Yeah? Good. I wanted to thank you for everything that you did for Don and for me. You don't have to thank me. It's my pleasure. But you're welcome. I heard you, you saw your son? Uh, yes, I did. How about yeah? that? Wow, that's great. It's, thank you. I'm really happy for you. Um, I'm also uh, really sorry for what I said to you about your drinking and... Yeah, well, I'm not going to say that didn't sting because it did, but... I also knew you were really hurting at the time. Still, I shouldn't have said that. I'm really sorry. Forget about it. It's Dawn. She's really good, actually. Um, yeah, there's... There's a light about her that just wasn't there before. It's, it's really miraculous. Do you remember what you said to me? What? You asked me, do you know him? I, I didn't know what you meant at the time, but uh, I think I do now. I mean, whatever it is that you and Don have, I, I don't. I've spent my entire life in the church, but I don't know him. Not like you and Don. Tell me how. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh, oh, they're coming. Good, 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 good. They're oh coming. Oh my god. Yay! 